Good morning. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, best day. I only have chickens, so I probably have one of those chickens with an identity crisis. You got an identity crisis? Look, there's the rabbits getting bigger already. Tiny rabbits. Yeah, going big rabbits. Ooh, there was more soon. Already here, and we're getting an early start in. It's 8 a.m. Well, it's 8.30, who's scanning, right? And Ava is greeting Morrison, and today I have a present for Morrison, so hope he's gonna be excited. That's actually something I got for free, but he's probably gonna like it. What's up? Good morning, it's almost Christmas. Almost Christmas, it has and a what, Christmas feel. And th when this video comes out, it, Christmas already probably passed. But this is gonna be the new year, probably. But how if cool this is, is in the new year, then uh, Happy New Year already. Happy New Year. But how cool is it to still have the Christmas vibe in New Year? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a tackle right it almost, The day almost ended early. It is, it is really a next level barbecue barn. I think barbecue temple is maybe the right word now. Yeah. It has a kung fu vibe. There's a lot of squares. Or rectangles, I should say. Squares is not the right word. Like in the roof, there's the whole pattern of rectangles. And then the windows have rectangles. The cabinets have rectangles. Oh, I got a present for you. Hold on to the camera. I'm running away. Yeah. And uh, I'm. Close your eyes, hands out. There you go. Merry Christmas. Woo! You came true. This is amazing. Now you have to put it on. Yeah, of course. Right. Put it on, put it on. Nice. Yeah. That is official. Foute sweater. Oh, this is amazing. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a large, so it should fit you. But yeah, if but it, I have a sweater on. Yeah, you already. It's like. But look at this. Look at that. The, the grill with the knobs. Yeah, that's there? that's crazy. That's cool. I don't know what are, is this the fridge? Is it the beer fridge? I don't, I don't know. know what it is. I don't know, but it got lights as well. Beer fridge. <laughs> And Napoleon is one of the fun, funnest, fun, most fun companies that we work with because every year they send me, I got a pair of socks, now I got a sweater, we got all kinds of Napoleon things and it's always fun. So big thanks to Napoleon. I'm going to put my sweater on too, for the whole team. What do you think Eva? We got one for you too. Really? No. <laughs> we, can, well, we can try. We can adjust it. So far so good. We're into the second part of the recipe. First recipe, we're gonna be doing three today. And the first one is gonna be like with a tomato sauce, with a bit of steak, with some mushrooms. It's gonna be delicious, perfect for our lunch. And we've been standing here and there's absolutely no wind so whatsoever. And that's, yeah, that's really nice. And now actually for, well, not the first time, but now I actually can feel the heat that comes off this little, well, terrace heater. And it's awesome. It's awesome. I'm actually getting warm from that thing. That's kind of a good thing. Dog barking. That's alert bark. Oh, uh, there's someone standing there with his bike. No biggie. Morrison, you take your sweater off? I'm a normal person. I, I like to take, be taken serious. Yeah, so we get visitors and then Morrison quickly takes off his Christmas sweater. Yeah, that's the truth. Yeah, I feel ashamed. He feels ashamed for you. He doesn't want to be the guy in the Christmas sweater. This is this is the guy that gave us windows. Thank you, man. We are really uh, happy with our windows. Thank you. So uh, they're awesome, and uh, we are we are no longer cold. Okay. So good job. What did you just do? Tell me this crazy plan because they don't saw what you actually were was working on. Uh, what I am doing is something we never ever show to anyone. It's what is going wrong in this video. So I had this plan to cook this beauty. Look at it. How awesome it is. Then I thought I'm gonna cook it on a plank. And that was this plank, but then a little larger. 
So I took the plank, cut it out, put it in the barbecue, and it didn't fit. That's what happened. You know what my wife said? What? What a nice plank. Yeah. Like, yeah, well, like she wanted to keep it. Well, well, get some olive oil on it, man. It's not like I spent hours on creating this. It's like I just did the and it was out. It's a salmon. And now the salmon fits. What do you think? I believe this looks really satisfying. Looks good. I really, really like and enjoy eating salmon. A good start on a barbecue video. <laughs> Ava's already getting crazy. She wants some. Give me some. And over that salmon. We just finished our first video yeah. and we're now on to the next one. Yeah. And it involves uh, this big fish. They already saw it. Oh. You have no clue what you're doing. No, I, no I'm, at this point I'm lost. Um, but I want to gamble. Yeah. I feel like gambling. How? So I want to gamble with you. What time we go? What time we are going to be finished? So what time is it now? Seven past six. Seven past six. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Hmm. We got two videos to go. This is going to be on the barbecue for around an hour. We need an hour to stuff it. Oh, well, now I'm doing the it math for you. It doesn't seem, seem like we need six hours. But since the last, the other day, we, we, we went home at 12 o'clock. I don't know. There's a good possibility that it's going to be 12 o'clock. I'm going to be saying it's going to be one o'clock. I can drive your kids to school tomorrow. They canceled school. Oh. <laughs> and then now they go by themselves. So either they take the bike, go by themselves, or we cancel the whole school thing. Yeah. It's, it doesn't make any sense anymore no. anyways. No. They cancel school because of the, the C virus thing. Yeah. Also, it would be kind of weird and maybe shocking to them if they go out of bed, go to the bicycle, and then I'm standing there. Hey, I can drive you. I'm still here. <laughs> They're probably still... going, ah, mommy, daddy, Morrison is standing in the backyard. <laughs> All right, let's continue. Morrison says 12, I say one, let's go. This is the funniest thing ever. I was, we had just launched the goulash uh, video and we're always watching it. The Gulas video launches. We're always checking what are the comments, what are people saying. And you no, know, you guys are awesome, and uh, we get the greatest comments. But when you make something and you say it's authentic, there are always going to be people saying it's not authentic, and there's people going to be saying, "Wow, this is absolutely like my grandmother made it." But the funny thing is, with this goulash on YouTube, a lot of Hungari Hungarians said that oh it's it's really good and uh, it's really close to what my grandmother made or we love it and on facebook all the hungarians say no way stick to grilling this is not hungarian so like i was reading the comments on youtube i was thinking like oh yeah i pretty, did a pretty good job and then i went to facebook and then i got butchered butchered absolutely slaughtered for using pork yes and pigs fly could be a lovely stew, but you had to put nitrine glutamate in it. Most certainly not goulash. It's like stuffing pizza dough with mac and cheese and calling it calzone. You just did that. I like your videos a lot, but this is not goulash. I mean, not authentic, not Hungaria. Vegeta, pork shoulder, oh my God. Stick to grilling, bro. <laughs> Do you wanna hear some YouTube comments? Yeah, yeah, I, I need some better comments now. Last comment that I get was on your video from the tri-tip. Great video, I have to try cooking this in some this way sometime in the near future. So that's for nice. the Morrison tri -tip. Nice. Mary Jane, pasta before potatoes, super is super glue. I think, I think Mary Jane means super glue. You complain that people don't make real goulash because there's pork in real goulash, but you don't even know what goulash is. There were traditional used of all, including beef. And beef is still used today, along with sheep and pork. Okay, here, here comes another one. They're, they're all putting words in, I don't understand. Great recipe. Word authentic should be replaced with realistic. This is what I would make for my family. Pro tip, throw some smoked bones in when it simmers. See? Like when that's Hungarian... Even, that's a bigger compliment. Yeah, even. if they make it like this, an Hungarian guy says make it like this. Realistic is the most authentic there is. Yeah. 
This is, this is like the pro version of authentic. I think that Americans that comment on the, on the YouTube video right now, they think that you're cooking some Michelin star goulash. No. But they do, it doesn't exist. No. You're cooking the... Yeah, it's real. The home, home version. Home yeah, you can't have Michelin star... There's no such thing as Michelin star goulash. And there's no set recipe. It's like if you tell a Dutch guy, if you tell a, th a thousand Dutch people to make ecte soup, split pea soup, they're all gonna come up with a different version. So in the end, it has pork in it. And this is kind of like something like that, but then for Hungarians and Austrians and stuff like that, that region, because it used to be completely different, but in the last couple hundred years, we decided those were the countries. But we got more. I can't wait to try this with elbow noodle and beef. I, I spent four hours making it. Jim spent Three, three hours, no, eight hours editing it. Morrison spent another hour making a thumbnail and then posting it. And, and you're just gonna put in one comment that say you're not gonna do what we told you to do. You're just gonna use the macaroni. And that only costs like 10 minutes to do. So what are you complaining about? Hate to break it to you, recipe change. Goulash can have beef or whatever else. You are as bad as the raging Italians on tasty Facebook comments. What? You are as bad as raging Italians on tasty Facebook comments. <laughs> I think they made the tasty uh, videos. I love this recipe, says get your shells. Didn't care much for shading, shade throwing at Cabo Kent. Let's put the record straight. I love Cabo Kent. I watch his videos. He's a great guy. He's doing an amazing job. But the goulash is not goulash. He still and, put and, macaroni and, in the goulash. Yeah, he still put macaroni. So let's be honest, ground beef and macaroni. Let's be honest, don't do it. And I'm not being Italian here, it's just, it's, then it's not, they call it, don't call it goulash. It's like I use, it's, it's macaroni. As a Hungarian guy, I really hate goulash. <laughs> <laughs> but that's beautiful. Yeah, that's poetry. Maybe because in there, in here, the quality of ingredients home cooks use is not the best. This year, I only once acquired a good tasting and quality goulash. Other were trash, trash meat, poorly cooked and overcooked. What if you chop fusilli? It's not the same. It's like, for us, for more than me, the noodles made it, right? Yeah. Very, very nice one, best for cold winter dishes, says uh, Wekker 090. 090, 090, where is that? What city? The recipe on your website mentions parsnip in step 5 along with onions which were already added in step 2 but the ingredients list doesn't include parsnip. That is a bit disappointing because what you made looks and sounds great but the recipe itself is total mess. We're gonna fix that. I do apologize Andrew Knaf. So I'm gonna reply let's fix that. But hey guys, I like your channel and recipes, but this is not authentic or original, says Marcus. La. Look at Freddy from Bernhardt, he explains it very well. I do like Freddy, Freddy's a friend of mine, but Freddy's goulash can't be better than mine. It can't be. I haven't tasted Freddy's goulash, he hasn't tasted mine, but mine is freaking delicious. All recipes that came over to America got Americanized, true. They had to make meals from home with ingredients at hand. So true, so true. The meat thing is a bit much. Looking through the recipe and notes on it, it's likely a regional variant. Really seems like any meat will do for a goulash. As for authenticity, that really depends on, again, the regional variant and how old the recipe needs to be to be authentic. For example, tomatoes weren't used until the last 100 years Yet the dish has undergone multiple changes since before the 16th centuries. Still great, just wouldn't say it's any more or less authentic than anyone else. It's just good food, man. Who cares? And then the sed sedated Sith says to that, apparently you, you are. Yeah, <laughs> you apparently care. that's you care. a big sentence for who someone who doesn't care. Long story short, I love reading comments. It makes us laugh and we have fun about it. We don't take anything too seriously in the sense that it's hard to hurt our feelings. Uh, are we right all the time? Definitely not. We, we are definitely not right all the time. There's no such thing as being right about food. Because food is about passion and what you make of it. 
Let's eat some fish. Looks good, right? Do you think it's enough for the two of us? The dog, the, the dog's completely knocked out. She ate all of the salmon uh, uh, bones, salmon bones, and and the whole everything that we threw away. Don't don't wake her up. Do you don't want to see what happens when you wake a sleeping dog? Okay. It could it could end really bad. All right, um, I did it, Morrison. What? I did it. I decided to uh, quit. Quit YouTube. I quit. No, seriously, I quit. We were supposed to make three videos today. I said to Morrison it's going to be one o'clock. Morrison said it's going to be uh, midnight. And uh, yeah, what time is it now? Eight, nine, yes. it's nine. Yeah? 9 p.m. I think, I guess. I looked at my schedule and I thought about it's going to take another five hours to record that video. So I was going to be right, but I hate being right. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when it comes to scheduling. Yeah, we are on the edge. On? Don't, don't push me because I'm close to the edge. We're in dire need of some R&R. &R. And um, yeah. So we're not gonna make uh, the last video. No. But we're gonna eat the whole salmon. Morrison promised we're gonna eat the whole freaking salmon. So there's still, I think, around three kilograms to go. Mm, probably more likely to be four kilograms. How do you feel? We already did a good, proper job. I think no. we're not gonna shut down the vlog. No. You know why? Because now the really interesting part comes. Because in the next part, something's gonna happen. You you want me to tell them what's yeah. gonna happen? Oh, okay. Oh, you you mean my roast? Yeah, Morrison's roast is coming, but not only his roast. It's gonna be so much fun. Mm. The next part of the video is gonna be so much fun. Mm. You actually, I hope you cut a lot out so we can go more quickly to the next part. It's so much fun. Jim's gonna be there. Okay, okay. Then then the and there's gonna be a mystery them. guest. And then we're there. It's coming in. I'm gonna watch it. Right now. Oh, God. Um, before we go to Morrison, there's one thing that we need, need to need to settle. Morrison, what am I talking about? Like the, the next part of the video. Here's the problem. <laughs> Look at that. That is what happens if you have the fat grease dripping off the table onto your shoes. So, and now my shoes are completely filled with fish fat. So Morris and I had a debate, what do, we do, what do I do? Do I clean my shoes now, in the middle of the night? Which I really, really, really don't want to do because I still got to clean up this. Or did I, do I put my shoes in the house where the cat's probably going to lick it and clean it for me. But then afterwards, what is he going to do, Morrison? He's going to throw up, so he still has to clean it. Why are you laughing like that? This is funny. But you know what the answer is going to be? Be a man, be don't a clean your shoes. Be a man, don't clean your shoes. Good morning, guys. Okay, so it's a new day. Today I'm making a really special video because my girlfriend is here. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi, hi. And what is she doing here? Well, I had this crazy idea to uh, uh, give my girlfriend a steak worth of $500 to grill it. Has she ever grilled a steak before? No. Did she ever use the barbecue? Hardly. So, this is gonna be a fun video and we're doing it on the master build. And Jim is here. Hello everybody. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Oh, you're like a, a, a black spot now. Wait. <laughs> Never been called that before, okay. Here, there he is. Hello. What's up? Hello, hello. Are you excited? I'm very excited. Have you I seen wanna see fire. You want to see fire? <laughs> yeah. Jim is here for the action. Are you excited? I am, but I'm nervous. R why are you nervous? I never done it's this. It's gonna be fine. It's just, it's just a five hundred dollar walk. You. Don't make it worse. It's okay. Look. Don't be scared of it. All right. So we're still continuing here with the cook. Yes. And uh, the boss turned up. Yes. So uh, what's time is uh, lunch? A uh, couple hours. Couple hours? Two hours. Uh, it's, it, what time is it? Uh, quarter past one. Okay. Two hours, that's three o'clock. <laughs> so I'll, I'll go to the butcher. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get something succulent. 
something really nice, which is going to be done in three months. So, you're confident? No, but... Um, Feeling strong? Um, let's just say yes. Yes, that's, uh, that's the spirit. Always <laughs> say yes. All right, let's go. My favorite butcher, we're back. <laughs> so, you got some lamb for in the, the cabinets, dry aging cabinets. These are more fit. Yeah. Good eat to have. Yeah. Die kun je zien zeg maar is wat magerder. Yeah, I really like this one because of the size. Oh, mooi dikke kont. Deze, 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 deze vind ik de mooiste. This That's, one. Yeah, that one. It's got a lot of fat. We like a lot of fat for the cabinet. It's got a nice uh, booty. Nice ass. <laughs> <laughs> So that's going to be the one, best out of five. Prime, all prime lamb, but this is the one that's going to be it. Local lamb. Local lamb, the best one. Okay. Excellent. Thanks. You're welcome. Ooh. <laughs> all right. Just cleaned it up from the last project. I already have a new one because the dry aging cabin has been, been neglected lately. But that's not really a good Oh, thing. it was empty and now? Yeah, now we're gonna fill it up again. Perfect, like it's made for it. <laughs> wow. This definitely is enough. I think we're gonna make a dry it schwanger. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds crazy good. Look at this. Because I think it's gonna go, it's gonna relax a little bit more. Hmm. And then I think it's going to drop down a little more, so I'm going to put in a shorter hook. Just to make sure that the whole dry aging thing goes well. There we go. For how long is it going to dry age? That's a good question. I think probably three... Ooh. Ooh. Probably three weeks. What do you think? This looks crazy good. You said dry H Pharma? Dry H Pharma. <laughs> That's some next level stuff. <laughs> I think we might have some lamb chops as well, but Oof. definitely we're gonna get some dry H Pharma. It's gonna be so tasty. I can't wait for this. I boiled them for eight minutes. All right, so we'll dry. put in the, the, the lamb. That's gonna be super awesome. And meanwhile, it's starting to smell really good out here with garlic and ginger and, well, it does smell really good. What do you have to tell, Martin? It's beautiful, but um, I'm going to do something. Oh, what is he gonna do? I'm going to add the noodles. All right. Ah, uh, they just missed it. You just missed it. She just ate a $500 steak. She grilled it, she ate it. And you guys just missed it. What a shame, Roel. What a shame. They just missed the moment. The crucial moment that, that my girlfriend grilled a $500 steak. But yeah, but they know what to do. They know what to do. Don't worry. No. But uh, there's something wrong here. What? I'm doing all the chores now, yeah. and you're having all the fun. Fun? I just gave away a $500 steak. What, what are you doing? Tell me. Nothing. What kind of chores? No, it's illegal. You can't show them. Or illegal activities. Illegal activities. Don't notify the local authorities. Sounds like uh, you're, you're being a gardener. I'm just being a typical... If you, if you catch my drift. I'm just being a typical yeah. local. Which is very illegal. I can't show you, sorry. So, Morrison, next video. Rib roast. <laughs> Amazing. So, we finished our Wagyu, and now we're gonna do a rib roast. I'm actually... I, I, I want this more than the... Say it out loud. You're I, more excited. I'm more excited about the rib roast, yep. The Wagyu was amazing. Tell us. Um, did you like the Wagyu? I did. Are you gonna barbecue? I've never tasted in my life. So, um, how do you feel now about Wagyu? Um, what's your verdict? Like, what's your end verdict about Wagyu? It's delicious. It's fat. A whole lot of fat. It's a whole lot. So, you can't eat a lot of it because, yeah, your stomach just hurt in seconds. So next time we're grilling. It's in the summer. Where it's, it's the, the, the weather is nice. You're grilling as well. 
I hope um, I remember how to do it, but yeah. She gotta watch our videos. Yeah, <laughs> just watch my videos. Yeah, true. All right. No, but this was great. Yeah. So she's going home now. She did her part. And uh, Jim. Yeah. We're gonna do uh, a rib roast. We are gonna do the rib roast. So our rib roast is ready for the barbecue, but <laughs> we have like one oh, little oh, issue. Oh, it's going fine. Is it really? Yeah, don't you see that? All right, we gotta wait for the rotation. Uh, but the thing is, I wanna have a tray underneath it. Ah. And the tray is not going to be a thing anymore. Woo. Oh no. Look at this. Oh, we need to do this manually. Everything's possible. Oh no. But that would be a, a, not a preferred solution. Because oh, you want that's to... that's boring. No, no. We no. got a saw now. No, we have beautiful bones. <laughs> Don't touch them. <laughs> If I, there's a, like a, a, a pit master way to solve it, and then there's a... <laughs> well, you can take the grill grates out. Yeah. Set the tray here. Yeah, I think it will be fine then. And then it fits. That's the trick I always use. But no, you're right, because I already figured out that it doesn't move here. Okay, now, now comes the... The bottom is solved. Bottom is solved. The, Top, the most know. interesting part. Oh no! Steering was horrible. Let's go! I did the uh, I did a horrible thing. I, I showed Mars on how to fix it without uh, taking the bones off. It works. Oh my God! It looks pretty good, uh, but I'm so hungry, man. <laughs> this is crazy, like meat heaven. Whoa! I'll still have to taste it first, but yeah. it looks so good, man. Taste that first. So our recording day has been finished and we just had the craziest good rib roast. Craziest rib roast, amazing. I mean, I was hungry, but this, this was good. It's cold. It's pretty cold. Yeah, now it's really cold. Yeah. We're yeah. gonna break down the place and... Uh, I think we should close up because it was a good day and it can't be better than this. We have one piece left. Maybe it's for the pit master, I don't know. We're gonna I'll, find him. I'll wake him. You guys, see you next week. Till next week, everybody. Woo!